what is my treism? Well, my treism is here to prove one point that all the religious prophets of all time who established religions that play a role within society and function to deliver the message of morality to people in order to educate them how to be moral and how to become more loving and so religion enriched society. In different societies and cultures God came as a person in order to deliver the message of God in the language, the customs and the culture appropriate for the people he was teaching. And she was teaching God and Goddess. So we find a Maitreism now that's had the spiritual insight and also the anthropological understanding that religion is religion and in every culture it serves the same purpose. You have temples where people gather to learn. There's a holy land around that temple where people build lives around that religion. There are teachings, there are priests, there are assembled practitioners of the religions called Sangha in Buddhism. And there are prophets and saints who embody that religion and who deliver the message of that religion, founders of religion. We find that in all the major religions. And what we're trying to do here is establish that all those teachings are the same, all the messages are the same, all the energies are the same, and God, Goddess, is one. That a prophet was and is one and the same person reincarnate lifetime after lifetime in order to serve humanity by teaching it compassion, by teaching it love and to love and thereby influencing the political sphere in order to create a better, safer, harmonious world and that is what Maitreism is here to do, to integrate the influences of religion, the major streams of religion that have brought people together under a religious head for thousands of years. Primordially, we have Shiva and Krishna within the Stone Age man, the mother goddess worship within paganism, and paganism evolves. Also we have a Christ figure there, we feel, in the very beginnings of man on earth, mankind. And then we move to ancient Egypt where we have the pharaohs, you know, and on through Buddhism, Mayanism, Tibetan Buddhism, through Christianity, Mohammedism, yeah, Hinduism, Krishna and Shiva, all these prophets came and taught people who are all devoted and we need to recognise that we are all actually into becoming better people better communities, serving one another, we have the same teachings. And when we recognise that all those teachings are one, we can practice two or three religions, the major old religions, and recognise that we're actually practitioners of the new religion. We can run priests of the new religion, and we can serve that new religion, which is the one religion. And at the end of the day, they were all one religion. There is only a monotheism. There are not many gods. The intention was to create monotheism within every single one of these religions. But in every case they failed. And so the prophets, God tells me, attempted again to create a monotheism, monotheism and link it together. And now is the time when we've reached a point of social evolution and religious evolution in our hearts where we can recognise that God is in fact one. And his message is the same, and the essence and energies and the, the, the good practitioners, as we hear of, of religions, do in fact all sit together in silence and in harmony and in love. Whereas the religious theorists have been fighting for so long. I think it's time for the religious theorists to sit down in that old adage, that old quotation, that old story that we hear, and to recognise that there is nothing to say really, you know, except to discuss the finer of religion. 
which is the one religion and of the religions you see at the end of the day there is nothing to say even if you are a theorist because I think we've reached a point in our discussions and our debates where we realise the message is the same and thus a Maitreism which means love which is what Christ meant and I'm sure you'll find in your researches and your journeys and through religions that the essence of all the names of all the prophets are the same we have a um, Padma Sambhava, an El Moira, a Buddha, a Christ, uh, a Jar Rastafari, Haile Selassie, we have a Shiva, we have a Krishna, we have a Muhammad, we have a Sufi prophet with no name, who is in fact al -Adin. we have a Pagan, we have a Quetzalcoatl, and that's, we bind them all together, and we have a Maitreya. Who, who's here to say that they're all the same and we're big enough now as a world to recognise they're all the same and come together and, and worship um, God, Buddha, pray to God. And the exciting thing is that I've found on my journey is that all of the religions seem to have different parts of the jigsaw puzzle of what it is to be religious and to be holy and to be moral and virtuous and what it is to be part of the true the truth of life on earth, which is part of love on earth, which is the, the real message uh, of religion. The whole universe is here because of love. And it's not some material thing. My Maitreism is all religion. And we pray for the benefit of all sentient beings, you know, to God. And we ask that, that all of you recognise Maitreism as valid and become Maitreists so that we can unite and no longer fight against one another as we have been all in the name of religion and this must not happen anymore for the truth it never was in the name of the true religion the true religion is love and sees no colour, no creed, no nation only the love in the hearts of our enemies and of our friends blessings to you all Maitreya Amandita May the Sangha increase, may the religion increase, and may the health and wealth of our nation spiritually and materially increase. Amen. Aum. Spiral Records, yahoo.co.uk. Spiral Mahamatreya. Over and out.